Hello everyone, today I'm opening up some uh, green lights. Let's see if they have any flaws. So, I opened the box up like that with the sides. The advantage of that is I can reuse the packaging for storage later on. I've been doing that for quite a few years and that has served me well. So I can take the car out, put it back, put it on my wall like that if I want to. I have some really nice display cabinets that I made now. What is this cover called? That's stuck in there good, that's okay. I don't count that as a problem. It's like any business, one guy makes the packaging and another guy makes the model. They don't really say in the back what color this is. It's a very interesting color though. If you guys know, you can put that down in the, uh, in the comments below. These are okay. Um, you can see the calipers through the wheels. This is very nice. It has a little bit of dust in the paint. Uh, that's okay. That's part of the game. One thing that I like about these green lights is they have the removable roof panel. Now, I own a Corvette in real life. That's something that I always liked. I remember being a kid, seeing uh, Smokey and the Bandit. And of course the Trans Am had T-tops. And I always thought, why doesn't every car had that? Because the, uh, the T-top has the advantages that you can see a beautiful opening hood. The T-top, or in this case, the removable roof panel has the advantage of uh, being a convertible when it's sunny and then the rest of the time is just a normal uh, just a normal uh, hard roof and you've got the advantages of the hard roof you know uh, some idiot can't come over and uh, you know knife your roof you have some protection from vandalism and uh, on a sunny day, you just take it off and you have a convertible. The best of both worlds. So that one looks pretty good to me. When I open up my die cast, I always have a little bit of uh, turtle wax around. I use that beep on everything. Of course, if you're going to paint the model, uh, don't use that. There's some dirt here. And over here, I'm going to try to polish that up, see what happens. So that seemed to help a little bit. I also got this Cadillac. The um, all summer I go to car shows and a lot, a lot of people do really really good restorations on some older cadillacs i like muscle cars and performance cars but these cadillacs they look so good this one looks also very good there's a little thing here maybe that's dirt i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna try to polish that up and uh, there's some more here see from the packaging side, you couldn't see that. This, I think, shouldn't have left the factory like that. Well, let's see if I can polish it up and then we'll find out. The roof looks great. And these, the 49 Buick, I bought a couple of 49 Buicks. The 49 Buick, it does not have an opening hood. I'm always careful with that when I open the hood. You can see there's a beautifully detailed engine. That is really cool. And the wheels are beautiful too. This is some nice stuff. 
I like those big white walls. Yeah, so the flaw um, on the hood, I was able to get rid of it 100%. There's a little dot here on the trunk. That That's okay, I can live with that. The roof is perfect. On this side, I was able to attenuate it some. But that is a crazy glue. And that should not be there. This is not a premium die cast. This is junk. That's going to be the title of the uh, the video, actually. I'm done with green light. This should never have left the factory. That's it. I'm done. I'll still show you what I bought. This one, it's staying in the package. Maybe it's got a bunch of flaws on the other side. We'll never know. I'm leaving it in its package. And I got two more Buicks. This one, kind of neat. That's going to stay in its package. And another 49 Buick. It's staying in its package. Maybe they have a bunch of flaws. I don't want to know. I bought this. Uh, it's para 64 now they mostly make porsche and japanese models i don't uh, i don't get too many porsches or japanese models this car i got because i play uh, gran turismo 4 i played quite a bit and that was one of the really neat cars that was uh, in gran turismo 4 which is a car i've never seen I've never heard about before the roof uh, yellow bird roof is a German uh, tuner and these I am not a Porsche guy but apparently they're really um, desirable but this was one of the fun cars in the game and I like the wheels they put on these roof wheels look really good to me so looks really good coming out of the package and this little grain here is just dirt fortunately that's the way the uh there's another little dot here that's the way i'd like to see my green lights come out and this is not a million times more expensive than a green light that's what i mean they should be selling, uh, even Hot Wheels has perfect paint. They shouldn't be selling them for that type of money if they're going to be goofy like that. Oh, look at that. This is really neat. There's screws in there so you can take it out. That means if you need to clean the inside of the windshield, you can. But this car, you don't need to. I'm going to put some, uh, some turtle wax on it just to protect it. All right, so the little dot that was here was able to remove that completely. It was a little bit of paint. So by buffing it, I was able to remove it. But look at this paint job. That is what I'm talking about. So yes, I would buy from them again. That was a good purchase. I'm gonna put this back on the base. I've got uh, my system for evaluating die cast and I guess the paint is pretty important so this one had absolutely no um, dust in the paint like I have a little bit of tolerance for dust in the paint but this one the paint was absolutely perfect had a little bit of cleaning to do a little bit of buffing but other than that that's a good uh, good car to get very happy with that I would buy again I like the uh, I like these boxes I keep them um, you know I saw a video that uh, it uh, kind of marked me um, this uh, this week it's a, a youtuber that does motorcycles he put uh, he bought the house next door which was abandoned and uh, in that house, 
there was all the, the old man I got old he got sick and died and there were all his possessions in there Here's another C8 Corvette. We'll take a look at that. And you know, all his possessions, basically, everything has to go to the garbage. And um, he, uh, he, he ended up, um, you know, had no kids. And uh, maybe his wife passed away before him. So that makes you think, you know, all this stuff that we buy... How much of it is good and how much of it is uh, junk so this is uh, auto world and these usually have good quality control all my time collecting auto world I only had one car that had flaws and these have an opening hood which I'm really glad for really appreciate all that hard work I would say that that's a premium car. That hood uh, made me work a little bit to, to get in there. But there we go. Nice engine. And the paint looks nice. I'm going to polish it up. And then we'll see where we're at. So yeah, this is really beautiful. I'm not seeing any flaws in this. Oh, look at that. There's a bit of black paint there, but that follows the striping. So I think that's okay. And then there's not that much dust in it. I've seen some um, auto world with dust from time to time. I can tolerate that. This one is just beautiful. No problems at all. And I got a Scat Pat Challenger. These are getting to be pricey. They started making these 600, 700, 800 horsepower engines when they canceled uh, the Viper. There's a one guy that I hang out with at the uh, Cars and Coffee there. He has a Viper uh, ACR. And I'll tell you, that was a good purchase because uh, when they start making the Viper, they went up in price quite a bit. Not to mention that the, the Dodge Viper is just gorgeous. See now, this thing, maybe it's dust in the paint or it's a flaw in the casting. I can tolerate that. It's just crazy glue all over the car. You know, I can't deal with that. I'm going to uh, clean it again, this one. The only thing I found is the top of the roof there was rubbing a little bit against the packaging. So if I had the patience, I could buff this out. This will buff out. Actually, I just don't have the patience today. Fortunately, this car is orange, which means that uh, it doesn't, the scratches don't show as much. If it were black, it would be really, uh, it would stand out a lot. So um, I'm not into black cars. My sister bought an orange Challenger like this. I don't know if they call this color a hemi orange. They call it Tor Red. My sister's car is hemi orange. Same, it makes you work to get in there. So I use a toothpick. And I cut the, uh, I cut one end with a exacto knife. That allows me to get in there and not, uh, not hurt anything. So yeah, opening hood, that's the stuff that I like. This thing is good. I like it. Got some uh, classic muscle cars. 1970 uh, Dodge Swinger. I like the dog dish hubcaps. That is a Mopar thing. And again, this paint looks real good. This one, the hood's easy to get at. It's right in the, just pull up in the front. So what are we looking at? It looks like a nice uh, 340 engine. It doesn't say uh, 
the displacement anywhere. Yeah, and the uh, the Mopar logo is nicely uh, centered. This one's off from the center a little bit, but still not too bad. Yeah, and they have the Panda Star only on this side, just like the real car. That's a nice touch. I'm gonna wax this up. Look at this. It's absolutely perfect. Not even any dust in it. So that this this is a premium uh, die cast, and I'm gonna wax up this too. This one has the rally wheels. Plum purple crazy. Plum purple crazy. It's the um, the Plymouth color. The uh, Dodge color. What was it? That probably says on the packaging. Plum crazy purple. It does say plum crazy on the package. So I don't know what the, the Plymouth designation was. If you know what, you can put that down in the comments. I'm going to clean this up. If you're into Mopars, of course you like um, the high impact colors. I mean, plum purple crazy, 100% is my favorite. The uh, the other thing that I like about the Mopars, and is they would do these crazy muscle cars, you know, Hemi and 440 six pack, and you can get them in really plain colors, you know, olive green. You get an olive green Hemi, or uh, you know, uh, bronze uh, 440 six pack. Um, so they had the high impact colors. But you will find the odd muscle car, the odd uh, high-powered engine in some brown and olive green cars. You know, you could order a 440 engine in a station wagon. You could have an olive green station wagon with a 440 engine and a Dana rear end for pulling. So there's some crazy stuff around for the Mopars, even though high-impact colors are cool. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon.